As many of you know, the Sussexes have made headlines again after Harry's appearance on The Late Late Show with James Corden. Corden is no stranger to poking fun at the royal family and he didn't hold back during his skit with Harry. Some are calling it another destruction of the prince by Hollywood. At the same time, more and more celebrities seem to be distancing themselves from Harry and Meghan. Could the Sussexes' toxic reputation be damaging their popularity and connections in Tinseltown? Let's take a closer look at what happened on The Late Night Show and discuss whether A-listers may be wary of supporting Harry and Meghan going forward. But first, here's a quick recap of the key events. Section 1. Recap of Key Events It's been just over a year since Harry and Meghan shocked the world by announcing they were stepping back from royal duties. They have since relocated to California and signed multi-million dollar deals with Netflix and Spotify. However, their popularity seems to be plummeting, especially in the UK. A YouGov poll found only 26% of Brits have a positive view of Harry compared to 45% with a negative view. As for Meghan, the numbers are even worse with just 23% seeing her in a favorable light versus 55% with an unfavorable opinion. Clearly, Megxit has severely damaged their reputations at home. Across the pond in America, the public response has been more mixed. Some have embraced Harry and Meghan's calls for compassion. But their celebrity connections and supporters appeared to be dwindling even before Harry's appearance on Corden's show last week. During the interview, Corden wasted no time poking fun at the prince. He jokingly accused Harry of leaving the UK because of his cooking and even pranked Harry into drinking a truth serum. Some saw it as good-natured ribbing between friends. But others argued Corden was completely disrespectful in his treatment of a senior royal. For example, one royal commentator called it one of the most extraordinarily disrespectful interviews I've ever seen conducted. She criticized Corden for dishing it out but failing to take it in return from Harry. So was this another example of Hollywood humiliating the prince? Let's explore further. Section 2. Are A-listers distancing from H&M? Without a doubt. High-profile names like Oprah Winfrey, Serena Williams, and Ellen DeGeneres were quick to support Harry and Meghan after Megxit. But it seems that support may be fading. Many celebrities who attended their wedding or spoke out in their defense in early 2020 have since gone silent on the couple. For instance, the Clunis and the Beckhams, who were guests at the royal wedding, have had little public interaction with Harry and Meghan since. George Clooney even backtracked on previous praise, saying he doesn't actually know the Sussexes very well. Priyanka Chopra, another guest, unfollowed the couple on Instagram and deleted photos of them. Other big-name supporters like Jessica Mulroney also seem to have distanced themselves. This could reflect concern in Hollywood that openly backing the Duke and Duchess has become more trouble than it's worth due to their polarizing image. As their popularity plummets, fewer stars may want to damage their own reputation through association. Much has also been made of the relatively sparse celebrity attendance of Harry and Meghan's recent video calls. For their mental health discussion with Global Citizen, the A-list presence was noticeably absent compared to previous events. Then there's the friction with their neighbors in Montecito like Ellen and Katy Perry, who have complained of drones flying over their homes to photograph Harry and Meghan. These run-ins indicate even Hollywood royalty may now see the Sussexes unfavorably. So have Harry and Meghan frittered away favor in Tinseltown by pushing too far past the point of no return? Section 3. Why Hollywood May Be Wary of h and if top stars are backing away, there are a few key reasons why the Sussexes brand may now be toxic for celebrities. Politics Harry and Meghan have been outspoken advocates on contentious issues like Black Lives Matter, voter registration, and the U.S. election. While applauded in some quarters, their activism is divisive and celebrities may avoid aligning too closely. Controversies From accusations of bullying staff to reports of clashes with the royal family, the couple seem plagued by drama and controversy. Stars likely want to steer clear of potential backlash by association. Independence. What began as a quest for freedom and control over their narrative has morphed into accusations of commercialization and calls of hypocrisy. Celebs may fear being used then criticized by a mercurial couple. Competition. With multimillion dollar deals of their own now, the Sussexes are no longer just royals dipping their toes in showbiz waters. They represent competition that stars may not relish openly embracing. Damage to brand. Even mild criticism of Harry and Meghan could spark the wrath of some ardent fans and do lasting harm to an A-list image. With eroding popularity, backing the couple carries more risk than reward. So in summary, while early sympathy and warmth towards the Sussexes still exists, 
celebrities seem far more tentative about public alignment now. And James Corden's latest skit could reflect growing unease over how even friendly jabs at the royals might backfire badly. Is full destruction on its way? Section 4. Conclusion. To conclude, Harry and Meghan reach global superstardom at breakneck speed through their royal fairytale wedding and early advocacy work. But their dramatic exit from royal duties and controversial efforts to have their cake and eat it too appear to have taken a real toll. As their image sours amid allegations of hypocrisy, many A-listers who provided crucial support at first may now privately question just how publicly close they want to stay. With new fame and riches of their own plus criticism of the Sussexes showing little sign of abating, backing away further seems a rational strategy for guarding Hollywood brands. As for James Corden, his long-running jesting at Royal showed little restraint this time and further highlighted how the palace's armor remains penetrable. While he and Harry may remain friends behind closed doors, the sketch risked fueling perceptions of the Royals as laughing stocks on the world stage if such depictions become commonplace. Only time will tell if more destruction is still to come. That brings us to the end of this analysis. As always, I'd love to hear your own thoughts on these latest developments in the comments below. Please like and share if you enjoyed this video too. Thanks for watching.